What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. Okay, another episode of BFFs brought to you by Raising Canes. I see, Brie, you have it. I just devoured it. I ate all of it right before we started recording. It took me about two I'm seconds. jealous, jealous. Fi start, too. Uh, finally starting to feel like fall. I was in New York this past weekend. Fucking horrible weather. It just rained every second I was I there. know, your pizza fest, <sighs> it rained. Poured. I saw O'Malley and mother. People still came to, like, I... Yeah, the turnout was still crazy. Yeah, I think the tickets weren't cheap. So it's like you buy a ticket, you're just not going to show. So like, we had a great turnout, but the rain certainly didn't help. But yeah, uh, oh. with cooler temps, great way to warm up is with Cane's Hut, fresh cooked to order chicken fingers. If you're playing a watch party this weekend's game, make the whole crew happy with the Cane's tailgate. The chicken fingers, Cane's sauce, Texas toast, you're sure to be the MVP of the party. If you're going to the game, Cane's has you covered with a post-game meal. Even when the games go to overtime, they're open late to satisfy those chicken finger cravings. Satisfy your Canes fix today. There is no other option. Come for the chicken fingers. Stay for the sauce. Order online at RaisingCanes.com. All right. Uh, this wire is getting the best of me. Um, <laughs> this. Let me move this. Get a little situated. Yeah, I got a new desk, which is great. Nice. Um, so the big news, obviously, it was Taylor Swift. This, this is the like, only news that I see. The only news. It was everything. Took over she, the internet. Yeah. I heard rumors about it. Maybe the day before I start getting like texts being like, heads up, Taylor's going to the Chiefs game. I'm like, no, no, she's not. Um, and then it kept picking up steam. And then bang, she she not only was there, she was celebrating, you know, like a like a little schoolgirl. She was like, next to his mom, too. Yeah. So it yep. seems like I feel like they got to be dating for a little bit if they if she was in the box next to the mom, chatting uh, to with Ke mom. We should have Kelly Keegs. I don't know if she's in the office. She's like the resident, like Taylor Swift expert. Right. Um, and and I was like bat phone, like red phone up, like Keegs, 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 like up and down. Her and I <laughs> were like in constant communication throughout the entire Swift Kelsey. There, she says. Taylor is always great with moms. Like she meets all the moms quickly and that's like something she does. So uh -huh. now she's also said Taylor traditionally is very private with her boyfriends up till the breakup. Then when she writes the songs. So she was like stunned. She was taken aback about this like public display of affection. You know, I said that song, like, you know, you like the cheerleader. I'm in the bleachers. Like she, she's kind of like the cheerleader now. Is Keegs coming in? Yeah. yeah. Here. Nice. Nice. We've got to Yeah, no, I texted, I texted hey, hey. Dave during the yeah. game and I was like, I was like, Travis Kelsey's him. What's going on? Travis Kelsey's him. So Keegs, I was just saying how we were like constant communication during this entire Travis oh, Kelsey. Yeah. yeah. I the thing that I don't get is you told me, like, because all right, I I my fandom with Taylor really came from the Kanye beef originally. And mm -hmm. then it, it grew in Kardashian. I haven't like I'm second hand to the boyfriend fights just by the songs. But you said she traditionally is very private with her dating life. Yes. That's why this is so such a spectacle because she never has been so like overtly hanging out. Like I, I don't think I've ever seen her out at like a, a sporting event or any kind of event with someone who she hasn't labeled herself like this is my boyfriend now and everyone accept it like she's never been casually dating like even when uh the stuff with maddie healy was going on she you know there were no photos of them together they were never seen together the only time that they were seen together they were at this like private rooftop club thing and people were taking photos of them and they you know got kicked out of the place like she usually keeps it very under wraps but it seems like and based on the things that she said and, you know, her songs like Bejeweled right now, it sounds like that maybe wasn't always what she wanted. Like maybe she did want to be out in the open and somebody professing their love and saying all these things for her. Oh. And all of her boyfriends have just kind of been a little insecure about it and almost and, and they're not letting her be jeweled, you know. And as far as uh, as far as Travis Kelsey goes, he's whatever I he's growing on me. I don't get I don't he's want to get we on have. That. Can we play? Have you, Josh, have you seen the rant, her original rant? On oh, Travis Kelsey? I have the not. Rant, I have the rant has I gotten me. Listen, you have, Dave, you haven't. The rant right. has gotten me in trouble in, in a way that I did not expect. Let, let, let's play the rant if we can, okay. Austin, the original rant, which I think Kelly's one of our one. best ranters. 
that we have at One the more. company. She's <laughs> very good at like off the cuff rants. And I, I again, I'm like a soldier. Kelly Keegs posts something, and I pretty much march to it. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to march to this one, though. I've seen the videos. I've seen the clips, okay? I'm just trying to catch up. I never in a million fucking years did I think <laughs> that I would have to take time out of my Sunday to watch the Chiefs play. I chose them today to win because I thought, okay, like, if we're still doing this, we're still doing this. I cannot believe that Taylor is at this game. And I'll be honest, I I, I mean, what am, what am I going to say? She's at the game. She's She... Loved all that corny bullshit. He's so like he's so gross. I, I just I have no interest in him. She's with Donna Kelsey. Everything about this I hate, but she seems to love it. I don't know. She seems to love it. She's having a good time. What a betrayal for the Eagles, by the way. She's an Eagles fan. She's singing about the she sings about Eagles T-shirts in her songs, but she's doing this. And I'm not shit on Taylor right now. I'm just saying that I think she's a little dick struck. Okay, maybe maybe Travis has a dick like that because you don't <laughs> betray your team and then get you know in a Chiefs jersey and and jump up and down in a booth with his mom if his dick's not that good. So he must, despite how vile and just and so <laughs> embarrassingly lame he seems, he must have that good dick in. So good for her. So yeah, so so high drama, obviously. <laughs> And then you Hi, had drama. obviously Travis's brother, Kel- uh, Jason Kelsey, yes. retweeted that, basically agreeing with you. <laughs> yeah, he did? That- he said, he w- <laughs> listen, we're all having fun. I want it to be clear that we're all having fun right now. Uh, Jason Kelsey quote tweeted it and said, preach, go birds. <laughs> I obviously, Taylor, I don't think Taylor gives a fuck about football. Like, this is just... I love to to get going on something like this. It's fun. We're all yelling about it all week long. I'm yelling about Travis Kelsey. I'm going off about it. I'm uh, I was at a, a lunch when all this was happening. I wasn't even watching football because like, why am I watching football? I left the lunch. I ran up to my apartment. I'm making this video. I'm posting it. I'm doing whatever. And uh, and, and realistically, I don't really care about Travis Kelsey. I just like to I like to get fired up like this. So yeah, you don't have to take a step back. Well, this listen, is, Dave. I, I've listen, Dave. I know. Things have been uh, misconstrued. The Swifties are upset with me because they think that I'm oh, very no. serious. So I, I made another video today. I put it on my TikTok. Yeah, I said, but Listen. some of the Swifties, I've seen both sides. No, I've same, seen same. Swifties being like, yes, we hate him. He's gross. And then I've seen other people being like, let him live. And the weirdest take on it is like, why are we talking about them? Like, well, the entire world is. Like, it's yes. Taylor Swift, who's arguably the biggest celebrity in the world, publicly going bananas in the booth Mm -hmm. like 41 nothing and she's acting like they just won the super bowl so yeah people are clearly going to talk i don't get the like leave them alone let them live type thing they want to be seen like that they're not hiding totally and and to be clear anything that taylor swift does i stand behind i do not care what she's doing she's having a good time i'm having a good time along with her but i do like the idea of shitting on travis kelsey and all the nfl fans getting all worked up about it because people i i had no idea dave i don't know if you know this travis kelsey has a a hive that i did not know what i was yeah when i was going after it people love him. they love him but why 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 are people saying he's gross Oh no, nobody's well, saying he's, he, I just oh, I just cringy. said he's cringy. He's cringy. Okay, okay. He's cringy. Well, he's, he, I mean, he's a cornball. Yeah. He is cringe for sure. But Very Taylor's, good looking. Taylor is corny too, so you know, they they fit well in that. That's true. Uh, but at the same time, uh, he, you know, he he's had a dating show before. Yes. He's like he uh has got the podcast now. He's always like you know, he's he's, show, he's a showboater. You know what I mean? Yeah, Which is it, not I, my I style. I think the way he dresses is cringy. Yeah, I think yeah. the way he kind of celebrates. Like I all right. So I have met Travis mm-hmm. a few times, and I said this to you, Cal. I'm like, mm-hmm. he's nice in person. He's yes. a nice guy. And even with the way Jason Kelsey responded to you, like the Kelseys do have a sense of humor and the ability to yeah. laugh at yes. themselves, Thank which God. is endearing. But he is cringy. Like, I, I'm not buying that what he wore was a 1989 no, thing. No, it wasn't. So that that outfit... Uh, it came because out Swifties the, are up my ass being like he was wearing that no, just they, for 1989. That designer went back and that outfit obviously exists, but that designer went back after seeing Travis wearing it and changed the name of, right. the, of the outfit to 1989 like bedroom set or whatever the hell it said. But it uh, never said 1989 before that. They are just obviously capitalizing on the situation, which, of course, uh, everybody is. If, if we're making a show of it, then we're making a show of it. You know what I mean? Everybody's on board. The NFL's changing their 
their Twitter uh, header photo to a picture of Taylor. They made the their bio uh, NFL Taylor's version. They did it on TikTok. Well, yeah. Like the NFL is making out like a bandit. With the this. stats on what she did are like insane. It mm-hmm. was like double the view. The NFL is a monster to begin with, but it was like double the viewers. Um, did and you see also, his jersey like, sales? All the whip, what, yeah, the, the t-shirt sales were up 40%. 400, 400, 400. Yeah. Isn't that insane? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. all the women were going crazy what? because like all the girls, the game was such a blowout. They changed the channel and like that was girls like, where the, f- yeah, like, where, where, where's, where's the game? I, now, the fashion sense of it. At times, I have to remind myself, I'm 46 years old. I may not be on the cutting edge of fashion. Like, I a lot of times think Josh dresses like a jerk. But he is like a young, (laughs) handsome whippersnapper. So, like, maybe, Josh, would you wear what Kelsey was wearing? You mean the, like, in the video of him and uh, Taylor walking by? I didn't think it was that, that bad, actually, when I first saw the video. I was like, I just kind of was like, oh, that's cool. But he's so I, good I looking at you for anything. He is hot. And I've said that from the beginning. No matter what we're saying about his personality, whatever, he is hot. It, there is no question about that. Good looking guy. Mm-hmm. No doubt nope. about that. But like the car, like when you, I you saw You didn't him, like the he, fucking car. You, car. you were shitting on the, the car. The 70s, the 70s convertible. It's just, it's just so like, like, of course he has that car. You know, Of course he's got like a purple 70s convertible <laughs> that he's Correct. driving and off into a, the sunset with like fucking grease. Like it's ridiculous. Yeah, that's literally what it felt yes. like. And it's like, again, when people are like, why are you talking about them? If you're, I, you don't see Taylor Swift and her boyfriend pull out like a oh, fucking Camaro out of the driveway with the top <laughs> down and like the hair flying. It's just a preposterous look out of the clouds. It, it just it's crazy. I'll say I don't know if I've seen Taylor in a car in open air without security or like a massive SUV van, whatever, in the entire time that I've been a fan of her. I've never unless it's like a photo shoot. I never have seen her just get in a car and drive off without a hundred people around her, making sure that she's okay. Like that that in itself was was shocking. Like everything about this is shocking. She's doing it completely differently than she ever has before. She seems to be loving it. It's just a it's a new vibe for her. It's a new she's trying it on, you know? She seems so happy. She's uh, she is like cackling, you know, like head back laughing in the in the convertible. Like <laughs> how do you argue so with that? Happy. Like she loves it. She's but that's loving how she it. She almost had like her award show vibes on. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. she's like over Maybe the she's top. wasted. She's definitely yeah, drinking. I, she was drinking in that box. Every <laughs> every time I saw her, she had a some sort of Good vodka soda, her. vodka cranberry, whatever. They I love it. These- I love that. Play sheets supposedly like that they had cheat sheets. Demoximo said she had. Oh yeah, that uh, was fake. By the way, that was a confirmed I would, fake. I, I would believe it to be real, but I could see it also being, I guess, fake. So we'll go past that. Yeah, I don't know. I and it also, I do think there is a chance, and this is bad for the Swifties. I think for the Swifties who are kind of like hesitant on Travis, where I could see her. Being like really into him and all into this. And he's just like, hey, this is cool. Like, this is a fame level that I've always wanted that I've never had because now it's taken me to like this whole different beyond the NFL, like international superstar, which clearly he wants that. You don't do dating shows and Mm -hmm. shit like that unless you crave that type of attention because she does not seem like his type from anything that he's dated in the past. And so that is a little bit of a concern. A little from red the flag, Swifty maybe. Side. They both, yeah. for both of them, on both sides, this is completely out of like the, the norm. But people are saying like, maybe that's what she needs. Maybe she needs to to stop dating these like sad, skinny British boys and get herself yeah. an all-American football player. That's Honestly, like kind of the- She's like the all-American princess. Like she's I know. America's sweetheart. It kind of makes sense in my head. I, I guess I never thought about her like being- I, I think that she's like queen of the world. So I never think exclusively to America, but it does make sense. Like it, it, she's, you she know, would be she's like a, the homecoming a Pennsylvania queen girl. Like a, yeah. Yeah. You know, dating the fo- hot football player. She sings songs about, you know, uh, you belong with me. She sings all about it. She wears short skirts. I wear t-shirts. She's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. You know, she's just somebody else compared it to like a theater girl finally dating outside of her like group of theater freaks and you know getting the the football player and and they love the the romance of it they think it's like a uh they think it's a rom-com yeah i don't know i i, I uh 
I'm with you, Dave. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm just I'm worried there, for mother. It doesn't like pass the smell test for me for some reason. Mm-hmm. I actually know the reason, and I don't want to say the reason. Say the reason. I think you should just say the reason. You can't do say that to us. I'm curious. Yeah, what the hell, dude? <laughs> What's the reason? I don't think I've never thought of Taylor as like an overly sexual person. Fair. And you think he wants an overly sexual person? I think he comes across as like that's his vibe. That's not her vibe. Maybe I'm wrong. Like Josh, do you think when you think Taylor Swift, I don't like. I don't think guys are like. They're just in awe of maybe her like. That's like me. It's like her musical talent, the way she carries herself. She's straightforward. But I've never been like she's sex symbol ever. See? No, she's definitely she's definitely not a sex symbol. I mean, she's like a beautiful woman, but I don't think she's, she's not like, like she's not like Dua Lipa. I was about to say, yeah, Dua Lipa is how you pronounce it. But I was about to say that <laughs> she's not like Dua Lipa, like up there, like grinding on the mic or like having the mic and like doing whatever. You know, like what Travis I mean? Kelsey, different. Dua Lipa. Like I don't blink. I'm like, oh, that yeah, I get it. Right. Taylor's just a weird fit. But hey. Good for them. I, but I just am being, it's like a kid when your mother, you know, is, is meeting the new guy and you're a divorced kid and you're like, mom, be careful. I don't want you to get hurt. That's, yes. how, that's exactly yeah. how, I mean, how I feel. It's exactly how I feel. I'm just, just nervous, just nervous for these people coming in and, you know, she's having a fun time. She's, she's doing so much right now. That's another thing I think was bothering me is that like all we've been talking about now for a week and a half is Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, when we are on the heels of the 1989 Taylor's version release, we, we, let's focus on let's focus on that. You know what I mean? Why are we only talking about our boyfriends again? It's just like, oh, but, drama. But now, now we can't say that. Like she now has can't. You're right. dove You're right. into it mm-hmm. like as full as you can possibly like dive into it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she's eating it up. I don't know. She's eating it up. She's loving it. That's yeah, she really is. She really is. All right. Thank you, Keeks. Cool. We'll Thanks. keep. Thanks I for mean, having me on, guys. We're gonna be in tight contact moving forward. <laughs> yeah, we are. That's I, fine. I'm, sh- I'm. I'm at the ready. I'm never sleeping again. I'm never going to lunch no, again. I'm never sleeping again. It, <laughs> that is how like old school Barcel when something breaks like that. It's like you just gotta be. There were bombs going off. It's just tough to stay on top of. It that. was crazy. The amount of texts, missed calls. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye. So. Thanks, guys. Bye, Kelly. See you later. Yeah. What do you what? And you guys got anything to add to it? I mean, I've always been on the side that I think for some reason it just works. Me too. But now I am stressed like he's just uh, happy because it's Taylor Swift and like he's just using it for clout. Because there's something to be said. Any guy or any girl really being like, oh, I can get that person. And that's like there is truly nobody bigger than Taylor Swift right now. Yeah. Oh, that just sucks because when you are Taylor Swift, it's like, who do you date? How do you know if someone actually likes you or they just love the idea of being with Taylor Swift? Right. And maybe she doesn't care. Maybe she's like not taking it seriously either. But Taylor seems like somebody based on her music who like falls Loves fucking love. hard and fast. Yeah, yeah, right. She's a hopeless romantic. Yeah. I fail her. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So with the busy fall season around already in swing, you might be looking for some wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian-approved, ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. Too busy for fall to cook? Uh, you want to make sure you're eating well with Factor. You can skip the extra trip to the grocery store, the chopping, the prepping, cleaning up too, while we're getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. So you can adjust your stride this autumn without missing a step. Choose from 34 plus weekly flavored pack fresh never frozen meals ready to eat in two minutes so if you need an extra boot to support your wellness goals and feel your best as you tackle a busy autumn try protein plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving so you can look for calorie conscious options during the busy season try delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving which is crazy so this september get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes no prep, no mess. You can head to factormeals.com slash BFF50 and use code BFF50 to get 50% off. That's code BFF50 at factormeals.com slash BFF50 to get 50% off. Let's get back to the show. All right. Sophie Turner, Joe Jonas updates. Last Wednesday, Sophie Turner went to dinner with Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift and two left arm in arm. By the way, I got a DM that one of Taylor's like inner circles, one of her best friends was now following me on Insta. So that's... Ooh. Okay, we're we'll getting somewhere. Our, that's we'll something. We'll keep our eyes on that. 
Um, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. was confirmed. She is following. Me. Sophie uh, Turner was wearing my friend's merch in this photo, too, which was crazy. What? Yeah. You know, Octop- octopus lover Jake Shane on TikTok, Josh? Yeah. Him. Oh, no way. That he, That's his merch? And he's the, yeah, it's the sweatshirt wrapped around her waist. Ah, uh, okay. But sick. So she probably sees stuff if they're, they're probably on TikTok scrolling. They probably see a clip of Dave calling Taylor mother seven times. That's what all, listen, people are like, Dave, I like DeMoximo. Every time I call Taylor Swift mother, they DM me, be like, gross, relax. Like, that's Wait, really? What the, yeah. This is the last two times she's DM me is when I've called Taylor Swift mother. It's like, that's what we call her. <laughs> I thought it's everyone not, did. I just made oh. fun yes. of you for it because it was like funny correct. that you say it. That's that's what the Swifties call do. her mother. It's like, correct. I'm not right. Yes, exactly. So I don't know why the mocks. You're not the creep that's just like, mommy. No. Yeah. No. I'm not the only one doing that. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're not the me- only. Everyone's yeah. being weird. That's, everyone's being weird. I don't know about weird. It's like that's no, what I we call called uh, Miley Cyrus mommy. Yeah, so there you go. Um, many fans thought the pair hanging out this is back to Sophie and Taylor was a shot at Joe Jonas because he infamously broke up with Taylor through voicemail, and Taylor released a vault track on Fearless TV and called uh, Joe Mr. Perfectly Fine that Sophie supported at the time of the release. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they may just be friends. Sick. Yeah, sick. Um, What's up? So Aiden Ross, I saw that pretend to have Kim Jong Un on his stream. Aiden Ross hyped up having Kim Jong Un on the stream only to have a fake impersonator, impersonator and Andrew Tate on. I believe he lost the most. I saw people were saying it's like he lost the most people in the history, like quick, I guess. Oh, like, like, what, like un- followers? Yeah. Viewers the event in was- one minute. Yeah, he set the record. Yeah. Oh, wow. 200,000 people left in a minute. He had concurrence 451,000 which breaks the all-time viewer record, and then he lost 200000 in a minute. Um, and the fake one joined. I don't know how people expected this to be real. Yeah, you think, yeah. yeah I don't know. What? Although, like, Dennis Rodman interviewed Kim Jong, didn't he? I don't know. I don't know. I just was like, I saw this, and like I was like, you guys stream? really think he's going to go on a kick stream, Kim Jong-un, with Aiden Ross? No, no, no. Not like, I mean, come on. I agree. Aiden Ross is going to ask the craziest shit. I mean, shit. I'm so out of that world. I didn't know it was happening. I just saw it like trending after and read up on what happened after. So he joined yeah. and everyone was like, this is obviously fake. Like it wasn't even a good impersonator. Yeah. No, it so. wasn't even a good impersonator. Yeah. It was terrible. Oh, the okay. clip I saw, it looked bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's just like in his bedroom with the. Although ringlet. I got to be honest, if you told me that was him and with no context, I, I would believe it, I guess. <laughs> Like right there, no, definitely not. Yeah. But um, Usher announced the Super Bowl halftime show. You guys happy with that? Uh, yeah, my mom's gonna be happy with that. Yeah, I have no problem cool. with that. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I feel like he's good for that because he's such a good dancer. Yeah, yeah. and he has so many like songs that everybody knows. Yeah. Um, another Northwest painting goes viral. Kim Kardashian shared a painting of a sunset her 10-year-old Northwest painted. This comes two years after Kim got accused of lying about Norris Bob Ross-style landscape painting. The Jeez. first time around, yeah, I didn't believe it was the painting while Food God insisted it was. But Food God is like, I mean, he is North Korea for the Kardashians. You're not going <laughs> to get a straight, like he's always going to have the yeah. back. Wait, that look how good that painting is, though. That's that's what? why everyone's like, "How is a ten year old doing this?" That's, yeah, let's see. How it. is a ten year old doing this? They need to show a video of her like in the act. That's what I'm saying. Give me a Bob Ross type video with her on it. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, she I posts a million it. videos of her on TikTok, anyways. It's like, show us this. Yeah, I and think I think there was a picture. Said they spent like six months, the entire class, doing that one painting. But you are correct. They post everything. Why won't you just have a few in the act? So then <laughs> yeah. it ends the rumor. I think they had a a video or like something of her drawing like ice spice. Oh, she did. And draw it was ice pretty spice. good. It was pretty good. Like I saw the the caricature or whatever you call it um, of her drawing ice spice, and I was like, Well, if it took them, if it took her ten, you said ten good. months to make that. I, I made that up, but I thought they said. <laughs> but I if thought, it took I, that I, long, then it's probably like a step by step. We could do that too. 
That's correct. That is yeah. what I thought I read. Like the entire class does one painting over the course of the class. Yeah. And that's it. So that's it what they said for sense. the original one. Yeah. Was that it was like a class thing and they did it over a period of time. But again, then it begs the question, why not just document it a little bit? And no one would ever say anything. Yeah. Uh, Maybe they like the rumors. Yeah. Kim K is supposedly dating Odell Beckham Jr. Or they're hanging out. Um, yeah. This couple makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. yeah to me, it does. It's the most, like, in fact, if you played, like, a game, have they dated or not, I probably would have guessed yes prior to this. Mm. Yeah. I, yeah. Did you see that um, Pete Davidson and Madeline Kleiner dating? I did. I did. I, everyone's like, he did it again. I don't really know who Madeline Klein is. She looks gorgeous, so it looks like Pete Davidson did it Do you know what Outer again. Banks is? No. Uh, I, I do. I do know what it is, but I've never She's watched She's the star it. of that show. Or one Got of them, it. one of the stars. Got but it. she's like Seems very pretty. drop dead gorgeous. Are they like yeah. confirmed dating? Yeah, it was confirmed. Well, people just love Pete Davidson. Yeah, I guess. So. Crazy. It's almost like it's almost like kind of like aggravating. How does he keep <laughs> yeah. doing this? He pulls yeah, that was everyone vibe. like the most beautiful women. Congrats, no dog. My Congrats, guy's got rid, I got nothing. Man. I got nothing left for that guy but just admiration. I got respect. Good for you. Yeah, Good for respect. you, dog. Yeah, Good I don't like it. <laughs> tip a, a, a tip of the cap. I, I I'm not even a tip. It's just like motherfucker, like the kind of you know. He's got it. Yeah. He's got to have a big yeah. strong man. Yeah, isn't yeah. that? Uh, That's a big rumor. But yeah, but even is the rumor get the girl because like the girl doesn't know that theoretically till like you hook up. But how do you even get to the hookup stage when you look like he does? Mm. The idea of that of that bedtime the in the rumor. back of your head. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I thought that was Big kind of rumor. a myth, if I'm going to be honest. I didn't think girls I, really cared. Motion yeah, no, but I think thing. I think yeah. Pete Davidson, ocean also girls ocean. just love him because he's so, he's that so guy. What? He's funny. He's like, cool. So I'm fucking funny. Dave's funny. Yeah, look at your girlfriend. Touche. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, we were getting roasted pretty good, her and I, after I was commenting on the <laughs> Travis relationship. People were... We're coming at me pretty hard, <laughs> which is fair game. Fair game. What are you going to do? You turn around yeah. is fair play. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Kylie Jenner's background is her and Timothy Chamelay. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Chalamet. 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 How, uh, how long have they been dating? The question is, how early is it too early to make your part in your background? Mm. Is hmm. Gabby your background, Josh? Yep. When would you do that? Um, I mean, it was a picture of like... <clears throat> It was like a picture of both of us at the start, but it was kind of like a funny picture. I thought it was kind of funny. But anyways, and then the other day she changed it to a, just a picture of her that she thought was very good looking. So she was like, I'm going to make you she's, she's peeing. me. She's peeing around you. She's peeing around me? Yeah. Marking her territory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, like a dog. Yeah. Just a picture I, we of We can't her. see that, but yeah. Oh. Is yeah, your if background put, Savannah? If you're saying she put like a, uh, yeah, it's a picture of both of us. That's cute. Yeah. What about you? No, not yet. Yeah. So that's the question. I mean, obviously, I, I'm two years now, so it's like yeah, I'm only probably good. I'm yeah. new. Three months. Have you like thought that. about it? Have you been like, Burr. what's your background now? No, I don't think I'll ever change my background for my animals. I like mm. animals. Animals are nice. Yeah, my background has always been my animals, even with other boyfriends. Game time. Exclusive ticket partner of Barcelona Sports Create by fans for fans. Game time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals and tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. They guarantee the lowest price. Must see events. What do we got? We got obviously football, Drake, 21 Savage, Zach Bryan. Zach Bryan making the list A list. Luke, uh, Luke Combs, SZA, baseball, so baseball playoffs, all possible. The game time app, the biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats. You never thought you could buy. They'll even credit you 110% of the seat price if you can't find a better deal elsewhere. You can also get limited time discounts with exclusive flash deals. The purchase process takes just two taps in 10 seconds. Once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get the game seamlessly, skip the hassle, enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, redeem code BFF for 20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download the Game Time app or go to gametime.co, enter your email, redeem code BFF for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Terms apply. I'll be in Nebraska. If you want to come see us, we're going to that game, Nebraska, Michigan. 
this Saturday. I've never been to Lincoln, so I'm excited to do that. Um, so yeah, if you need tickets, you can use it for that. Caitlyn Jenner speaks out in House of Kardashian trailer. Caitlyn Jenner is a part of a three-part doc on the Kardashian streaming October 8th. The trailer for documentary tees is Caitlyn Jenner talking about Kim Kardashian calculating fame. It was like working with Chris. I haven't heard from Caitlyn Jenner in so long. House of Kardashian. It are we wait, watching? Is it, I mean, is that like a play isn't this the same House as the Dragons? show though? Like, isn't I, this the same as the show? Isn't the show they all talk about shit? Well, the like a, Kardashian show like is an them. Expose of them. Not, I mean, not how? Uh, no shit. The Ka- Kardashians are calculating. And Kris Jenner has been, um, like, plotting her fame forever. That's a well-known fact. Yeah. The Kardashians have redefined the American dream. The Kardashian women, they are superior to rich men now. You're kind of in one of two camps. I want to talk about them. Or they've ruined the world. Oh my God. Anyway, here we go. Chris wanted to be more than just a housewife. Kimberly calculated from the beginning, how do I become famous? The sex tape was a means to an end. It was to create a controversy. What was it like working with your wife? Ooh, spicy. I like that to me. There's absolutely nothing new about yeah, that. Yeah, I feel like everyone already that's, that's, sees all of that. That's my that was yeah. my point. Like, is this not already on the show? Like, have we not yeah. already seen all this? Yeah, um, I, I would say so. It's pretty well known. Um, Zach Bia reacts to vampire. Zach Bia does not think Olivia Rodrigo's song is about him because their relationship wasn't breakup track worthy. Zach said the internet ran with the idea, but in reality, he and Olivia both got too busy for one another. There's no drama. Okay. Sounds good. Influencer kicked off a plane. Influencer and former Bad Girls Club castmate Morgan Osman is the center of the newest viral plane freakout where she tells the person recording she's integra- inter- Instagram famous yes. and calls them a bum. I saw this happen like a week ago. Wait, I haven't seen this. I didn't see this. Call me a bitch again. Yeah, you did nothing wrong. I No, you shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up and you're a bitch. You should film me. I'm Instagram famous, you fucking bum. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay. There is some debate whether this was staged. I don't think that's staged. That seems not staged to me. She seemed angry because she kept telling everyone to shut the fuck up yeah, on the way up. Yeah, she seemed angry. She lost. <laughs> shut the fuck she up. Lost shut the that fuck battle up. battle <laughs> so clearly. That was that was not a good Yeah, one. the only thing I don't know is she was on that show Bad Girls Club, and that's like feels Those to me girls like bad. five-ish for them. Yeah. But this seems like uh, a Jason would being on the show. She would get on a fight and get kicked off a flight. Yeah, Bad Girl true. Club girls are insane. True. Um, Madeline Klein, Pete Davidson, Roman to be dating, already talked about it. Uh, I'm skipping through a bunch of stuff because I don't think it's that interesting. And we get a hard out. Uh, let's see. All right, Alex Earl and Sophia Culpo tell their side of the story. The same day Alex Earl's episode of Call Her Daddy was scheduled to be released, so Sophia Culpo is on her sister Aurora's podcast called Barely Filtered. I'm losing track of all these, Sophia said she found out Braxton was cheating on her after she was called by her sister Olivia, who was at the Super Bowl. According to Alex's timeline, she would never have met Braxton before the Super Bowl. Sophia also said she did not want the beef to be between the two girls, and she DM'd Alex. Many fans thought the captions on the clips and tagging Alex and Braxton in the clips from the podcast was a weird move. Alex never mentioned Sophia or Braxton by name on Call Her Daddy. Sophia's take. All right, let's see it. Do you hate Alex Earl? I think at the end of the day, he was the one that had the loyalty to me. She might not have been aware. Yeah. Who knows what was said? Yeah. But I actually reached out to her and I was like, hey, I just want to say I'm like really sorry that this is turning into girl versus girl. Like you don't owe me anything. He was the only person that had loyalty to me. Like was that therapeutic for you? I just didn't want her to think that like that you were starting a war. And I ended it with, I really hope he's better for you. I was really just at a point where I was like, I want this to end the back and forth. So I just reached out. I was like. And she agreed. We we're like, this just needs to stop. I think that's fair. It's never if your boyfriend cheated on you, can't be mad at the girl. Agreed. Um, I guess though, reading through the thing, Alex is on call her daddy. They're got the unwell network, and Alex seems to be hell bent on saying they didn't cheat. And she got the receipts from Braxton. So let's watch that clip. 
were you hooking up with him when he was in a relationship? It is so triggering to even hear you say that. Or when I was reading these comments, I was bowling my eyes out to my friends and they're like, hello, Alex, like this stuff does normally not get to you. But like from what we just talked about, I spent my childhood thinking this is basically the worst thing you could do to another human. So why the f would I do that? Like, no, they were not together. So why do people even think that he was cheating with you? I guess the ex-girlfriend had started posting things alluding to unfaithfulness and the relationship online. And I was seen hanging out with this guy. So everyone kind of just pointed fingers at me. I don't really care about the clip, but why are they filming that in the bleachers? Hey, that's what I was wondering. Why are they in like a weird like For her high school episode, baseball they park? went back to like her high school and filmed in the bleachers. Weird. They like did a, a <laughs> bunch of, they went to Miami, her high school, her New Jersey house, and uh, New York, I think. Did you listen to it, Bree? I did, and I got the the rundown on it, though. Yeah, that's that's the only thing I've seen of it. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I was curious if it was good. Um, all right, BFF's Corner, and then we'll get out of here. Um, I don't, this is more my stuff. I don't think we get, I, I had my pizza fest went well. I was in a war with, basically the the press which i always am so it's not that big washington of a deal. post yeah yeah washington post i had a clip that went like crazy crazy viral has like 45 million views on twitter or x or whatever you want to call it because i called the reporter who i had heard was trying to get our sponsors to drop with bullshit information about me and um she basically got caught lying on the call she didn't handle it well so that went viral but everyone's seen that by now um Bree took a break from social media. Are you I, back? I just, I had a really good, like fun weekend planned and I was getting a bunch of shit on social media. So I just said, I'm deleting it for the weekend so that I can enjoy it what in peace. Pe what were people busting your balls about? Just this, people still busting my shit about dating Zach. Oh, that's, that's comes with the price of the territory. Unfortunately, uh, no. you got a new dog named Boston. Very cute. Very cute. Very, very cute. cute. Cutest dog in the world. Very cute. Thank it's you. all the Instagram stories. She's so nice. cute. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Gabby reveals how she met Josh. J Gabby called Josh a fan, <laughs> revealing he had been DMing her <laughs> since 2021, and that the pair eventually met for the first time after he invited to a birthday party this year that Dave was not invited to. <laughs> Were you a That's fan? That's a weird Josh? headline to put in. <clears throat> um, I wasn't yeah, a fan. I, I feel mean, like I remember you telling me about her before you guys were dating. For sure. I mean, you know, I saw her on Instagram or on TikTok and was like, damn. I think you I'm showed me her. This girl like, up. I want, I'm going to wipe this, this girl, girl up. So you did that shit. So man. then I, I DM'd her. And then, yeah, I mean, it took a while until she came to LA because she lived in Brazil. So she, it's not like she had plans to come to LA right after I DM'd her. And then, you know, didn't really talk to her much. Heard she was coming to LA. Or I probably asked her, like, let me know when you're coming to LA. Um, she let me know. I invited her to my birthday party. It was at the same time. So that's when we first met. And yeah, the rest is history. Dixie went on Plan Bree, confirmed show with Josh. They got a new mm. sex and relationship pod happening. I for I don't understand how this is gonna happen. What Dixie yeah. doesn't talk about nothing. <laughs> that's what that's what we're gonna figure out. We did a little test pod. We did a little test pod. It was it was actually pretty good. It was actually pretty good. But I got to figure out the, the whole entirety of it. So it's. I mean, it's, it's going to be a bunch of no comment. No comment. What happened on that threesome at the beach? No comment. No yep. comment. No yep. comment. Yep. <laughs> Trust me, dude. All right. That's that's the show. That's the show. Wait. That's the show. Austin. Yeah. The, the people that we're trying to hire. I've been hit by 9,000 people. Yeah. What are we doing? So we have basically, we're done going through all the resumes. There was actually a ridiculous amount of qualified people. I think of people like just straight off resume. I think we had like a hundred and something that could actually do the position based on that. Um, we narrowed down from there. And right now we're doing uh, phone screens for them. And then we'll narrow it down further, do in-person interviews. And Are all three of us going to in-person interview them? No, I'll do that. And then we'll have like maybe five of them or something finalists. And then we'll have the three of you talk to them. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. So that's BFF. Kind of a quick episode. That's that's okay. <laughs>